All right, so here we go. Pastor Dad here, Richard Flat, And um, I've been thinking about this, about the latest bombing that happened. Um, and it breaks my heart. It just absolutely breaks my heart. My folks have been, on, uh, my folks travel a lot. And one of the favorite places that uh, my mom has is uh, is Turkey. She really likes Turkey. Um, Istanbul, she says, it's a really beautiful city. Um, and I think people ought to be able to go and, and visit and be able to travel and be able to go see the world without having to worry about uh, evil people. Um blowing up innocent bystanders. Uh, that, just, that just boggles my mind on a whole gob of different levels. Um, and so my heart just breaks um, for all the people who were hurt um, in this entire mess. And it's a man-made mess. And... Um, my thoughts and prayers are, are with all the grieving families. And I wish there was something I could do here from, from the Northwest uh, in, in the U.S. to be able to give you a hug. Um, like I said, my, my, my thoughts and prayers are, are there. And it is just senseless on so many different levels. I have been, uh, I've traveled a lot. So I've been to all sorts of different airports. Um, years ago, there was um, an attack at the airport in Glasgow. Um, similar kind of situation. Um, same kind of ideology behind it. And I was thinking to myself, you know, I've been on that sidewalk at the, at the um, airport in Glasgow. And, you know, there, but for the grace of God, go I. I'm glad I wasn't right there when that happened. I've never got a chance to go to, uh, to Turkey and uh, don't know if I ever will, but I would like to have been able to have the freedom to be able to go and do that and, and to be able to enjoy um, that fine city um, without having to have the worry of, of any kind of uh, terrorism. Another thing that bothers me when all this is happening is people will try to lump that ideology, and I'll, I'll say it, I mean, it's uh, Islamic terrorism, and say that, you know, basically all people of faith have thrown us all in together. And it's not the same thing. It's not. I, I took comparative religions and we don't agree. I mean, maybe we'll agree on such things as we ought to love our children. <laughs> but as far as, uh, you know, is the nature of God and, and the practice and, and life and, uh, and afterlife and how one come, you know, goes to, gets to go to heaven. Um, not all roads lead to Rome. Not all roads lead to Mount Fuji. Um, you know, if you take a comparative religion class and you answer, you know, uh, all of the above on every single question, you're not, gonna, you're not going to pass because they're not all the same thing. And, and this is, this is what I, I wanted to, to say as well. We just had, um, a wonderful missionary who came and visited, uh, for a few days. And my wife was a missionary nurse in Bangladesh and, and like I said before, uh, that's, a, that's a Muslim country, and she served in two different orphanages and started three clinics. And she served uh, the Hindus and the Muslims and the, and the Christians. It didn't make any difference, you know, what your background was. She was going to serve you. She was going to love you. Um, she was going to reach out and touch you with the hands of Jesus. And... Um, and, and that's the, that's the heart. I mean, that's the true heart of, 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 
of real Christians and 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 uh, missionaries do a great job of embodying that. And so my my thought is for those who would choose to be radicalized, I just want to speak to you at the moment. Okay, I want to speak to you if you're going to choose because you think your your faith is so good. Um, I'd say use it to be able to reach people and touch people in a positive way. Uh, as you can see from the example with Christianity, when we see uh, something that's broken in the world, it's our job to go and start a, a ministry uh, and to reach out and touch people in a positive way. If there's something, that, rather than going and attacking a group of people, if I see, for example, an issue with people with drugs, my job isn't to go run around and attack drug users. Uh, my job is to offer recovery. Um, my job is to um, is to start a ministry and and meet people uh, where they have needs, uh, not uh, attack people and and um, and blow up people. Um, and it, I don't know. I, I guess it goes back to, to our founding uh, as well. I mean, Jesus reached out and did positive things and he touched people and he, you know, he touched the leper. Um, he showed grace and, and mercy um, and said, well, I don't accuse you. Uh, you know, where are your accusers? I, I don't accuse you. Go and sin no more. Um, so I just want to challenge you go and do something positive. If your faith, it, your, your religion, your ideology is so great, do something positive, uh, for mankind, um, off the back of that, uh, rather than go and, and hurt, show love rather than show, I don't know. Is it, is it anger? Is it vengeance? Is it, I, I don't understand the ideology where you want to want to harm people who were just standing in line. That doesn't make any sense to me. I don't like standing in line, but obviously I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't want to do anything to the people around me or to do anything to myself. Um, that doesn't represent my God. That doesn't represent my faith. Um, you know, I, I don't understand, and I want to encourage anybody who would choose to be to be radicalized. Um, don't do it, you know. And, and or if you're going to do something, do something positive. You know, do something for the sake of mankind. Um, show love. Um, you know, if you believe that your God is is merciful and compassionate, show mercy and compassion. So that's what I got. Uh, so thank you for listening. And I hope that encouraged you. Uh, you know, if you see a need, people, if you see a need out there, um, feel it. God's calling you to do something positive. He wants to use you in a positive way. All right. You have a wonderful week. Thanks.